Okay, welcome to Six North Safety Huddle. Should we start with a round of introductions? I'm Carl, I'm nurse in charge. I'm Sophia, paediatric SHA. I'm Philip, one of the medical students. Ethel, what administrator? Lorraine Hansen. Mm -hmm. Who's the student teacher? I'm Samaya, private teacher. I'm Stephen from the school. I'm Sarah, I'm a student nurse. I'm Dari, I'm a pharmacist. So yes or no answers. Is anyone got a Pew score of three or above? Is any patient on a high risk or unfamiliar therapy? Is anyone got a gut feeling there's something going on? Are there any family concerns? Any discharge planning issues? Any temporary or missing notes? Any safeguarding or risk of absconsion? And is there any team communication problems? Okay, going from bed nine. There is no concerns. The ten, no concerns. And eleven, no concerns. Oh, 12, no concerns. Except that Dad, yesterday, you spoke to Mum, didn't you? About yeah. Dad, yeah. So Dad was a little bit impressive when he first came in. But okay. I think it's been cleared. Alright, so I think and we can make a plan that we've, um, we've addressed that safeguard. 14, there is a concern he's still remaining wheezy. And is his pew score? He's pewing, he's pewing okay, but I think he needs a review. Because he's, he's not long had a nebulizer and he still sounds a bit wheezy. Okay, so why don't you make a plan that he'll be seen first on the ward round? Hello, my name's Jane. I've been the clinical lead for safety huddles here at the Royal Free site. It's not just been about safety huddles. The entire multidisciplinary team has really embraced the project as a whole. Here's a safety notice board outside our parents' room with the border that's been decorated by our play specialist and girls from our intensive eating disorder service. Here we aim to display some of the other projects that are going on on Ward 6 North. We have some information about our whiteboards. These whiteboards are to improve communication between the parents, children, nursing staff, doctors, play specialists, pharmacists. We also have the Safer Care Checklist, which has been adapted from Southampton Children's Hospital in order to empower parents to speak up if they're concerned about their child. These safe, Safer Care Checklists are now part of the welcome pack that parents receive when they come to the ward. We also have some other information for parents. We have the contact details of our matron. Should they have any concerns and they don't feel their concerns are being listened to by the nurse looking after them. And we also now have champions for the different projects in the ward from all members of the team. And we're going to hear from some of them now. Hi there, I'm, my name is Steve Bree. I'm the deputy head of the school, which is attached to the paediatric ward here at the Royal Free. Um, I've been asked to give you my views about the huddle. Uh, I think they are essential. They give us up-to-date daily information about any safeguarding issues that arise on the ward. And this is really important when we have daily one-to-one -one contact with uh, any of the patients which are on the ward. Um, it allows us to like get to know all the members of the team and introduce ourselves and it makes a more friendly environment. It also allows us to raise concerns in any patients just Hello, I'm Abby, I'm a play specialist. I've been involved in handing out questionnaires to see if patients think things are good or what we could do better and the feedback we've put up here on our tree and also the whiteboards. So whiteboards? are a fantastic communication tool. They give a clear plan for all to see and the feedback we've had from parents is that they really like being included and the young person themselves. It can be very empowering and actually it becomes, it becomes a goal setting tool. We, we've also found that it's encouraged interdisciplinary working that everybody can contribute, whether that be our hospital school, our physios, our play specialists, or the wider team that's sometimes forgotten about, like grandparents. The parents generally like them, because the parents um, find that when a doctor comes into the room, very soon afterwards they've forgotten everything. But if it's written on the wall, they can see it, and they can remember, for example, when they're going for an x-ray, that they've maybe got to have a blood test, when they can go out for a little walk. I think it's much improved with um, sharing information, with safeguarding and with raising any concerns, whereas before some of that might have been missed or lost in translation. 
I would say that there was some concern that it would be a difficult tool to put in place when the ward was very busy. But what people have actually found is that it helps give structure to a busy ward and a focus. Empowering all ward staff, um, the parents, children and young people to raise concerns if any child is at risk of deterioration. We're also highlighting any other safety concerns. We're increasing situational awareness among the multidisciplinary team in our unit.